Did you know that the scriptures, the Bible, describes the Holy Spirit and the role of Holy Spirit as a guide, a guide for you and me? And and so that means that if if you're coming in this morning and your life is maybe feeling a little directionless, maybe, maybe you're praying over a decision, over a direction that your life needs to go and you need a guide, when you sing that song, what you're saying is, Holy Spirit, come, guide, I need you to guide me in my life. The the scriptures also speak of the Holy Spirit as an empowerer, meaning that if you are facing something in the week to come where you're feeling ill-equipped for that thing that you have to face, if you're facing a conversation where you say, I don't have the words, you're carrying a burden where you say, I don't have the strength to carry it, when we sing Holy Spirit come, we're saying, Holy Spirit come empower me, give me a strength that is beyond what I already have. The scriptures also say where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And so maybe when you say, Holy Spirit, come, what you're saying is, Holy Spirit, come and set me free from the chains that are in my mind. Set me free from the pain that is in my body. Set me free from the things in my past that feel like they're holding me back. Holy Spirit, come, set me free. And so that's what we pray right now. We pray, Holy Spirit, come. Empower, come. Freedom giver, come. Guide, come. Advocate, come. Come to us. We need you, Holy Spirit, because we cannot do it on our own. And so we come to you knowing that you are already with us. And it is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, the Holy Spirit is here, and so is, so is the person next to you, by the way. So why don't you turn to them and say, I'm glad you came today, just like the Holy Spirit did. And then you can go ahead and you can grab yourself a seat. That's right. That's right. Very, very good. Well, once again, uh, Soul City Church, good morning. Good morning. We are so glad that you are here. If we haven't had the chance to meet yet, uh, my name is John. I have the privilege of being one of the pastors here. And you came on a very special weekend because we're actually about to continue worshiping together in just a few minutes. That's right. I'm I'm not going to talk long. I will not be before you long. But I do have a few things that I I really want to let you know about, things that are happening in and around our church. Firstly, for those of you who might consider yourselves new around here, if you're new here, maybe this is your first Sunday, can I just start by saying welcome? We're really, yes, we are really, really glad that you are here. It's a really cool thing that that you decided to try out Soul City Church. What a gift to us. And and if you are new around here, you can actually scan the QR code that's going to be on the screen behind me. And that's just going to give you an opportunity to learn a little bit more about our church, to learn a little bit more about what we are all about and what God is up to here. And specifically, if you are here for the very first time this Sunday, we actually want to give you a gift just as a way of saying thank you for being here and we're glad that you're here. And so after the gathering, if this is your first Sunday here, you can visit our connection desk, which is just outside of those doors in between them in the second floor lobby. Our connection team would love to give you a gift if this is your first Sunday here. And if you are new, the the first thing that you need to know about Soul City is that our mission 
is to lead people into a transforming relationship with Jesus. That's our heartbeat. That's what we're all about. We don't want to just play church. We want people to experience the power of Jesus, and we want their lives to look different and be transformed because of it. And the way that that mission actually happens and plays out is not just through the work of pastors like me. It's not just through our staff, but it is actually, we believe, church is a team sport. And we are so blessed to have hundreds, I kid you not, hundreds of volunteers who serve, give of their time, give of their skills, week in and week out, to make not just this Sunday happen, but all that we do as a church happen. In fact, you probably don't even know this, but you have already been served, you got served, by several volunteer teams before you even, like, before we even got to this moment. Like, if you drove here, you might have been helped out by our street team that helped you to find a parking space in the city of Chicago. If that's not the work of God, I don't know what is, people. That's Jesus at work right there. As you walked in the doors, you might have encountered someone on our connection team who made you feel welcome here. You might have stopped by the Soul City Cafe where our team there gave you a cup of coffee, aka Holy Spirit Fuel is what we call it. And maybe, maybe you dropped your, your pre-K kids off in Soul City Kids. We actually have, shout out to our Soul City students and our elementary age kids are here in the room with us today, which is really, really exciting. But some of you with, with kids who are pre-K uh, or younger, you dropped your kids off in Soul City Kids. And you should know, we don't just let them run around those rooms by themselves. But we have a team of gifted volunteers, faithful volunteers, who create fun and educational experiences for our kids week in and week out. You've already been led by our worship team. You, you, and the only reason you could hear them, the only reason you could see them, the only reason y'all knew the words to those songs is because we have a production team back there in the booth that is making all of that happen. And of course, all those volunteers on Sunday, they're here, you know, several services, they need to eat. We have a culinary team that actually provides them with food. It's amazing, what a meal, I love it. And that's only to highlight so many of the teams that make this day happen. But actually, there are teams that are serving seven days a week, like, like the, those uh, who lead our table groups or those who lead at Alpha. These are folks who are helping to facilitate discussion with others to help them wrestle and grow in their faith. That, that doesn't even scratch the surface of what our Love Works team and our House of Hope team do. These people who have been mobilized to serve outside of the walls of this church, to serve the people of our city, to show them love, to meet their needs in tangible ways. I could go on and on and on because we have over 300 people here at Soul City who faithfully and consistently serve on a regular basis. That is a gift. And if you are one of those 300 folks who volunteer here on one of our teams, we want to say thank you. We want to say thank you. But because... Truthfully, you all are the engine, partnering with the Holy Spirit, you are the engine that makes this mission go. And if you are one of those volunteers, we actually want to invite you to be a part of a really, really exciting event that is coming up this Thursday, June 1st. We are hosting Summer Team Night. And Summer Team Night is specifically for two different types of folks. One, for those of you who already serve on a volunteer team, we want to host a night to celebrate you, to share some gratitude. Our lead pastors, Jarrett and Jeannie, they're going to share some vision about where our church is headed in this next season. If you're a volunteer, you need to be at team night. Or if you're not yet serving on a team and you're interested or you feel the spirit kind of nudging you to step into that and explore what it might look like for you to serve on a team, we also want you to register for team night because you're going to learn all the different ways that you can serve both inside of these walls and outside. Again, y'all, listen. Summer team night is the hottest thing happening in Chicago this week. It goes summer team night, then the Taylor Swift concert. <laughs> number two. It's number two. So scan that QR code. Make sure you register for summer team night, whether you're already a volunteer or you're interested in exploring what that would look like. Well, as we said, our, our volunteers make our mission move forward by giving of their time, giving of their talents. But another way that that mission of God moves forward in and through our church is through the practice of giving. Not just giving of our time or our talents, but actually setting aside a portion of our financial resources, a percentage, and giving that faithfully and generously to the work that God does in and through this church. And again, we have hundreds of folks 
who consistently and faithfully give here. And we never want to let a Sunday go by without saying thank you. For those of you who give here, we cannot do what we do without your generosity. It goes farther than you could ever possibly imagine. And if you're here this morning and you're ready to give, you can scan the QR code. Again, that's on the screen behind me and you can set up your giving online. Or right now, our host team, which is a team that you can serve on, by the way, if you come to summer team night, they are gonna pass some buckets down your rows and you can give in that way as well. Well, as I mentioned, we're actually gonna continue on in worship together because you came to church on a very special weekend. This is what we like to call here a weekend of worship, AKA a wow, people, weekend of worship here. That's what we call it. And the reason that we're having a weekend of worship is because we are celebrating a really, really big moment for our church. Our worship team, Soul City Worship, this past Friday, released their newest and biggest album ever. Big deal. It's called Coming Home. And listen, these songs, all 10 of the songs, some, many of the songs we're gonna sing today, they were written by the people of Soul City for the people of Soul City. I had the privilege of being a part of many of the writing retreats where these songs were written. And every single time we got together, we simply started by thinking and praying about and for you all. We just simply prayed and asked God, what type of songs do the people of Soul City need? How can we encourage them? How can we give them hope through music? And, and these songs are the fruits of that labor. And the reason that we're pumping those songs out into the world and releasing them on Spotify and on Apple Music is so that you don't have to wait for a Sunday gathering in order to connect with God through this music, but now you can actually carry hope around in your pocket. Like, like you can have encouragement right there on your phone. The Holy Spirit's on dial-up for you right now, and you can just pop into Spotify and be encouraged by these songs that were written with you specifically in mind. And so I wanna invite you to stand to your feet, if you would, and we are gonna re-enter into worship together. We're gonna lean in today, and we're gonna see what God might have for us in this time. And so would you actually just open up your hands with your palms facing up as we enter into a posture of receiving. God, we're here to receive, Holy Spirit, whatever you have for us today. God, maybe it's encouragement that you have for us today. We wanna receive that. Maybe it's hope you have for us today. God, we wanna receive that. God, maybe it's a word of direction. We wanna receive that. God, maybe it's space to grieve, to let tears flow. God, we wanna receive that. We receive whatever it is you have for us today. And God, we lift up your name. We wanna start and re-enter into this time of worship by lifting up the name that is above all names, the most powerful name the world has ever known, the name of Jesus. We pray all of this in your name and we sing all of this in your name. Amen. Let's sing together. Let's go. 
church how, how are you going to use me in this moment and I looked at my week this week and I had a wild week this past week um, on Monday and Tuesday we were at a staff retreat praying for you guys and and talking about what was next for our church and then on Wednesday and Thursday my parents are in town because it's my daughter's fifth birthday today which thanks for clapping but honestly it's clapping for me because she's she's alive she's still alive after five years which is which is blessed um, so I'll celebrate that. But I was, I was, you know, sitting here thinking, and I was wondering, like, okay, what are the song order? And goodness of God, what a more perfect song to come before we have this moment. And we're going to do a moment of singing over you the song, Coming Home. And God has always been faithful, and God has always been good. And even when I have nothing to say or nothing to bring, God's like, I got something because I am in you. And ironically, the song we're going to sing, Coming Home, that I'm going to sing, there's a line in it that says, I have nothing to give, I have nothing to bring, but that is enough because you still have me. And um, it's a reminder that we have a gracious and good and patient God who takes us as we are, even when we feel like we have nothing to give. Even when we feel like we have nothing to bring before God, even when we're coming in here this morning, like, we didn't even know it was a weekend of worship. We're, we're like, singing all these songs. Um, even if nothing else, we have a God who's like, hey, I'm just happy you're here, and I'm just happy that you're with me, that you're my son, that you're my daughter, willing to come and draw near to me. And then guess what? God is faithful to move and to speak and to guide and to lead. And God has been doing that in, in this whole season. As, as I lead our band and as I lead our, 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 our worship collective, that happened to us as we were getting ready to, to name this album. I remember going into the prayer hall and, and leading a couple of us in that room of like, okay, let's pray together. 
together for what God wants to name this album. What are the themes of these songs that we've written for our church? And um, and I'm like, as the leader, I should have like an answer, but I don't. And so let's 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 pray it out together. And we were trying to beat the name coming home because we're a creative team and we're trying to think of like cool and creative names. But none of that mattered because this theme of coming home just kept popping in and kept reminding us of like God is such a safe place for us to come home. He's such a safe. Um, refuge, we sing about that. He's a refuge in our times of trouble. We can come to him just as we are because he is good. He's a friend. He's our father. He's our king. He's our savior. So we're going to be singing these reminders over again. I'm going to be singing that reminder now. And I just want to say to whoever is here this morning, like, I don't even have a good voice or I don't even have a, um, I don't know. I, I don't even know if this is weekend of worship. Thank you for being here. I feel like God is saying thank you for showing up for me being here to worship, because God is worthy of our praise. He's worthy of our song. And so I'm going to sing this song over you, and then the band's going to come out, and we're going to lead you in two more songs. Sound good? All right, let me pray for us. Jesus, thank you for these truths of who you are. Thank you for giving it to our church and, and allowing us to be stewards of this gift that you have given us. And God, I pray that these words would help us to remember, because we so easily forget, for us to remember that in you, We have everything that we need. And God, I thank you for the invitation to come home and to be with you and to be present with you. And that you, in exchange, provide us with peace, with joy, with love. We ask that you move in Jesus' name. Take me back in Maybe I've gone too far Could you love me again? Could you love me again? I have nothing to give I have nothing to bring You say that is enough, cause you still have me. You still have me. I'm coming home, Lord, I'm coming I've heard all the stories, I've sung all the songs, my heart still believes, but my soul is undone. No 
We're going to invite the band out right now, and we're going to be singing two more songs for you. And really what we wanted to show was the heart of Soul City Worship, and the heart of Soul City Worship is that we are a collective, a group of people that are pouring our hearts out to Jesus together. So we're going to sing two more songs, and would you give it up for the band as we come up? And we can stand. Let's stand together. We're going to worship. <laughs> Woo!
You've been closer than a brother Through the thick and thin By me in the fire With me to the end
Jesus is a word since true and he hasn't failed me yet. he's faithful through and through hey. and if he did it for me mm, I don't hear y'all <laughs> cause if he did it for he did it for me, y'all. Did he do it for y'all? If he did it for me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll do it for you. I got, uh, I got nothing for that. I got nothing. Listen, I, I love, I love watching this church worship. I love watching you all worship. And the thought I had as I was sitting over here watching you all like a weirdo is that like the, the feelings of love that I feel for you all, the feelings of joy and of pride that I feel watching you freely worship and connect with God, that is just a fraction of the joy that God feels watching you all worship this morning. Thank you for leaning into this experience together. And you can continue to lean into these songs all week long. They're out, they're in the cloud. You just gotta grab them. You just gotta grab them. You can put them in your pocket, scan that QR code, stream these songs all week long. They're written for you to do that. And, he, and listen, you know, if you need prayer today, if there's something you're walking through in your life and you don't want to go through it alone, but you want someone to cover that situation, someone to cover you in prayer, we have a team of people that would love to do that. They're located in our prayer hall. It's just outside those doors. Make two right turns. Our team would love to pray with you today. And then last but not least, join us next week as we kick off a brand new teaching series surrounding one of my personal favorite books of the entire Bible. We're walking through the book of Jonah in June. And listen, it ain't the story that your Sunday school teachers told you about. It's about to get real, and we're going deep. And yes, that is a nautical pun. Uh, so for more bad jokes, please join us next week. But until then, we pray that God would wreck your life with his unbelievable love and grace. We love you, Soul City. We'll see you soon. <laughs>